Hello everyone. Welcome to our daily English learning practice series where we embark on a journey to enhance your language skills through engaging and informative videos. Whether you are a language learner looking to sharpen your listening abilities or simply an enthusiast eager to explore diverse topics, this series is tailored to cater to your curiosity and growth. In the text of each video, you will see some words are made bold. I will give you the list of these words along with their meanings in the end of each videos. In this video we will discuss nutrition and cardiovascular health. Good nutrition plays a pivotal role in maintaining optimal cardiovascular health. The heart, a vital organ, requires a balanced diet rich in nutrients to function efficiently. This video will delve into the connection between nutrition and heart health elucidating key vocabulary along the way Cardiovascular health refers to the well-being of the heart and blood vessels A healthy diet can prevent various cardiovascular diseases such as heart attacks and strokes Dietary choices greatly influence these outcomes Firstly, focusing on nutrient-dense foods is crucial. These foods are rich in essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support heart function. Leafy greens, berries, and nuts are prime examples. Such foods help lower cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of artery blockages. Another important term is fiber. found in fruits vegetables and whole grains fiber aids in digestion and helps manage blood sugar levels which indirectly supports cardiovascular health it also contributes to a feeling of fullness assisting in weight management sodium intake is also a key consideration consuming excess sodium often found in processed foods can lead to high blood pressure hypertension or high blood pressure strains the heart and blood vessels increasing the risk of heart disease conversely including foods rich in omega 3 fatty acids can have a protective effect these healthy fats prevalent in fatty fish like salmon bolster heart health by reducing inflammation and promoting proper rhythm in heart's electrical system portion control is a practice to prevent overeating when portions are too large it can lead to weight gain and related health issues moderation is key even with healthy foods lastly staying hydrated is vital proper hydration maintains blood viscosity preventing the heart from working harder than necessary to pump blood in conclusion understanding the relation between nutrition and cardiovascular health is paramount by incorporating nutrient dense foods fiber and omega 3 fatty acids into one's diet individuals can mitigate the risk of heart disease monitoring sodium intake practicing portion control and staying hydrated further contribute to a healthy heart now let us see the words which were made bold and their meanings the first one is cardiovascular health it means the overall well-being and functioning of the heart and blood vessels next is cardiovascular diseases medical conditions that affect the heart and blood vessels such as heart attacks and strokes next is dietary choices the decisions individuals make about the types and amounts of foods they eat then we have nutrient dense foods that provide a high amount of essential nutrients such as vitamins minerals and antioxidants in relation to their calorie content 
Next we have cholesterol levels. The amount of cholesterol, a fatty substance present in the blood. High cholesterol levels are associated with increased risk of heart disease. Then we have blood sugar levels. The concentration of glucose or sugar in the blood stream. Managing blood sugar levels in blood is very important for preventing diabetes and related health issues. Then we have weight management. The practice of maintaining a healthy body weight through a combination of diet, exercise and lifestyle choices. Then we have sodium, a mineral found in salt and many processed foods. Excessive sodium intake can contribute to high blood pressure and cardiovascular problems. Then we have hypertension. Also known as high blood pressure, hypertension is a condition where the force of blood against the artery walls is consistently too high, increasing the risk of heart disease. Then we have omega-3 fatty acids. Essential fatty acids found in certain foods, particularly fatty fish like salmon, known for their anti-inflammatory and heart protective properties. Then we have electrical system, refers to the network of electrical signals that regulate the heartbeat and rhythm of the heart. Next word is portion control. The practice of eating appropriate amounts of food to avoid overeating and maintain a healthy weight. Then we have hydrated, being adequately supplied with water to maintain proper bodily functions. Next word is inflammation, a natural response of the body to injury or infection. But chronic inflammation can contribute to various health issues, including heart disease. The next word is mitigate. To lessen or reduce the severity, impact or risk of something. And the last word is viscosity. The thickness or stickiness of a liquid such as blood. Proper viscosity is important for blood flow. So this was the discussion on the topic nutrition and cardiovascular health. We will meet in the next video with some other topic and more vocabulary words. Until then, goodbye and thank you.